Welcome everyone to getting to know ArcGIS and in this uh, exercise number 13b I would like to show you how to update your georeferenciation or your projection and so to define that. Uh, well it's a very, um, you know, how to call it, mm, maybe theoretical frame that you will be, uh, s that there is a possibility to get in shapefile without the projection file. Uh, you can see it here, so we have here the fast cities. These are the fastest or the cities that are growing fastest in the US and as you can see there is no projection file available as it is seen here on states. So normally if you're uh, transferring your shape files you should pack them together in a zip file or something like that to make sure that, that you have included everything. In this case we are missing the projection and the problem behind that is that each of these or the shape file itself has coordinates so there are numbers in that file which div which uh, says well you have to be one kilometer northeast from here but you don't know whether these are kilometers in my example or these are miles so if you're well, if you're American and you will say just go one into di this direction, you will interpret that as miles. As an European, just go one means more or less kilometers. So there's a difference between that. So the uh, current projection in our project here, we can have a look at that properties. You will see that the current projection of this uh, project is use a contiguous albus equal area conic. So if there are some coordinates going on, it will interpret them as coordinates regarding this projection. And this is more or less wrong um, in our example. So we will just add the this layer fast cities dot layer. We'll add them. And as you can see it seems okay at the moment but there are some cities located outside of the states as you can see here I'll just zoom in uh, as well again this is the example uh, example view um, in the book so what we ha have to do is we have to define the projection of this shapefile or of this layer so therefore you should open up the toolbox and go to projection and transformation. Which is located in the data management tools. So there's projection and transformation. Uh, there you have two toolboxes regarding features and rasters. But what we will do now is we know that there is a projection and we also or in the example in the book you will get to know or you will be set which projection it is so we will use this information to define the projection so what we would like to um, reproject is fastly cities.layer and the project uh, the coordinate system we have to select this is a projected coordinate system in a continental continental way and it is set to be the Amer um, North America Lambert Conformial Conic. So we will search for that. There it is. North America Lambert Conformal Conic. And we'll just press OK. Once again, OK. If you will have a look here in the geoprocessing toolbars. There is still the defined projection. This layer is also locked. You can see it here at this lock. And um, after a few seconds, the projection should be finished. And you will see that all of these points are at the right locations. Here you can see New York with Manhattan. Also, Green Bay is where it belongs. Naples is over there. So everything is fine for the moment. What we will do now is we will uh, 
uh, add this file now also to our to our map. Just zoom out here a little bit. This is a map. Well, it looks a little bit shitty because we have zoomed we have zoomed in a little bit too much. So once again, re choose the area which we will look at. Just drag it a little bit more north. So there we are, and we have to add, uh, add this layer also to the other uh, to the other data frames. So I'm activating that. And as you can see, um, this um, projection is written into the file. So uh, Honolulu is where it belongs to. So that's a great thing after that. So you don't have to create another um, something like another um, another file or something like that. So there's Anchorage where it belongs to. So um, this is it for the moment. We have defined a new projection and well it was easy to do so. In the next chapter we will concentrate on building geodatabases which is very important if you would like to create very large geo uh, projects um, and ongoing projects. So stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.